The jurors who convicted Conrad Murray of manslaughter is speaking out exclusively to ABC News. Eyewitness News reporter Miriam Hernandez was in the courtroom when the verdict came in, and she's here now to tell us what juror number five is saying about the deliberations. Miriam. Well, what we're learning is that in the first hours of deliberation, the majority of jurors sided with the prosecution. The evidence showed them that Conrad Murray was criminally negligent and caused the death of Michael Jackson. But it was not a slam dunk for everyone. For the first time, we hear what really mattered to this jury and what didn't. We all thought he was a nice guy, a good doctor, a good cardiologist. Um, I think he just got too far over his head. Juror number five, Debbie Franklin, mother of two, a paralegal, describes the nine-hour deliberation that followed the six-week trial of Michael Jackson's personal physician. It was stressful that whole morning. It was a lot of work. We did yelling. She says nearly half the deliberation time was spent listening once more to Conrad Murray's entire recorded interview with LAPD. He took a Valium, but then I gave him additional medications. Some of the jurors wanted to hear his tone of voice throughout it, how he was describing things, and they thought that that was important. Murray's recorded words, they decided, contradicted with his excuses that came later. Why he didn't call 911 when he found Jackson unconscious. Jurors say Murray's call to a staff member reveals he deliberately stalled. He says, do not call or don't call 911. We can't let let people know what's going on here or some, something to that effect. But at one point he says, don't call 911. Other failures, says Franklin, Murray's agreement to give Michael Jackson any amount of the sedative propofol, then leaving the room. Even if he, Michael Jackson injected himself, which I don't think we believed, um, but we felt even if he did, that wouldn't have mattered because Conrad Murray brought the situation there. He was the doctor. He was in charge. Another issue that didn't matter? Jackson's history with other doctors and the painkiller Demerol. He didn't die from that. It wasn't in a system when he died. And we will have more of that interview with juror number five ahead on Eyewitness News at Five, including their debate and their beliefs on how that fatal dose of propofol was administered. Reporting live from ABC7 Eyewitness News here in the studio, Leslie, back to you. All right.